Freddie Mercury once said, the bigger the better in everything. And I think that applies to dinosaurs as well. This is Agat. Agat is a baby Argentinosaurus. Unbeknownst to him, but Agat is on his way to be one of the biggest creatures to have ever walked the surface of this world. For now, Agat is still but a juvenile. This means he is still an easy game for any adult carnivore that might want to eat him. This is the story of Agat's journey to become one of the biggest. A new day has arrived, and Agat finds himself surrounded by enemies and friends. An adult Giganotosaurus and a baby Anodontosaurus. Despite the threatening display from the baby Anodontosaurus, does he not understand that he stands no chance against an adult Giganotosaurus? Even if he is attacked, Agat can do nothing to help him. Despite being both herbivores, Agat have no jurisdiction to protect someone that isn't his kind. An adult Euteraptor One of the biggest dromosaurids to have ever existed. He will prove more than a match for the young Anodontosaurus. Despite this being an adult versus a juvenile, the Anodontosaurus tail can easily still break a bone from the Euteraptor. The Euteraptor needs to watch the tail so he doesn't break any bones. An Ampelosaurus. A sauropod like Agat but way smaller. No threat and no concern for Agat. It would seem that they have come to a standstill. The Euroraptor does not have a strong enough bite force to kill him in one swoop. He rather bleed the victim to death. It is questionable if the Euteraptor can even kill the Anodontosaurus here. Without the aid of another adult, the Anodontosaurus can heal the bleed faster than the Atromosaurid can cause. Does the young Anodontosaurus seek refuge from the big Argentinosaurus? Or does he only want Agat to serve as a distraction for the carnivores? Either way, Agat is too big for the Euteraptor to take on along, so the distraction will likely fail. A Deinonychus A smaller dromosaurid compared to the Utah. Incidentally, so is the threat level. But 
those however threat level highest one giganotosaurus was bad enough but now there's two one that seems like to be at the borderline adolescent and subadult things got worse at times like this it wouldn't be weird if the player started panicking you guys wanna go? You guys aren't exactly Allosauruses, but then again, I'm not exactly a Diplodocus Apatosaurus either, so... Let's see, oh. Whoops. An adult Argentinosaurus can weigh from anything between 15 and 20 elephant. A lightweighted dinosaur like Dynamicus are nothing but squash if he comes underneath an Argentinosaurus, even an adolescent. This accident has saved Agat some time. In a world where you are the strongest, your enemies will try and stop you before you reach your full potential. But what if you are already strong in your early stages? What can make carnivores attack you? One answer. Desperation with a pinch of dumbness. Ow, why does fall that- oh! Um... <laughs> Hi guys, uh, Don't mind me, actually, weather is perfect, and... You know what? Do you guys wanna go? This is the Soul Flats, and I may not be a Diplodocus, and you may not be Allosauruses, but... You guys wanna do it? Okay then, let you and I reenact a scene from childhoods! Dodging my steps, adult Giga. What? You're an adult. You can't handle my steps? Come then, don't run away. You wanted the heat, didn't you? Don't let your subadult do the job. Come on, you and I. Oh, don't run away now. Oh, that was a misclick. But talk to the tail instead, will you? Come now. I'm an Argent and you are a Giganotosaurus. This fight was meant to be. Oh. Don't you run away now! What? You can't face tank me? Oh shoot! Excuse me, hi here. I just think I just had a nightmare from my childhood. Uh, might be a, a childhood from another uh, separate timeline. One where I didn't survive to become an adult argent. Oh, well good uh, lucky me that never happened. Okay, that's enough. I'm the storyteller here. <laughs> After waking up from his so-called nightmare, he remembers that his so-called nightmare and this reality has the same type of weather. The fog does contain some danger with it. Having this bad sight hides potential enemies. It doesn't help that the rain also washes away the scent of them. Unfortunately for Agat, he might not see his enemy before they are right on top of him. Take for example this Suk Magnus. Way too close for comfort. However, he's still a Suk Magnus. Hardly a threat. It seems like the message was received. A pair of tyrant kings. Another dangerous couple that Agat needs to be careful around. While it's unlikely that they will attack him, any attacks, even if it ends up as a failed hunt, it can still weaken Agat leaving him vulnerable for any other attackers. It would seem that they calculated that the risks are higher than the rewards. 
They may be tempting, but a foolish endeavor. It's finally a day with clear weather, and Agat is relieved that he can finally see for a long distance. One of the perks of being one of the tallest is that you also have one of the highest perks. Agat, as long as he is in open areas, he can spot enemies from a long distance. He can make himself prepared before the enemies even hit him. But for now, it is quiet. Whoa, I don't want to be the wow look at that shot type of guy, but look at that shot! Dang! This game is gorgeous! It really is a top dog when it comes to games of this genre. Definitely one of the best. Agat now finds himself at Impact's Crater, or known by locals, the Murder Bowl. Just like when the meteor first hit here, this place is a hot spot. Many players come here, and many dies. This place are only for survivors. A pair of Giganotosauruses have made a kill. And they are warning the Tsukumimus to stay back. That is their kill, not his. That conflict, however, is of no concern for Argentinosaurus like Agat. Why would a herbivore care about meat? It is unlikely that the Gigas will try and fell Agat, but he can't afford to let his guard down. Another Amplosaurus. Another sauropod like Agat, but way smaller. But he has a tank of his own, and can even fend off multiple apexes. If he is skilled enough, that is. The balance between herbivores and carnivores are quite unsure. Or is it? A herd of Amplosauruses. Two adults and a bunch of young ones. These must be first time parents, because bringing that many children to the ball of death is a bad idea. God dang it you kids, you're gonna drink this whole water pool dry and unclean. Cheer up, Sukumimuses and Giganotosauruses, um, just take a pick and uh, basically just a buffet right here. Yeah, yeah, move Sukumimus. As a matter of fact, move closer to them, maybe take a little nibble of one of the children. Do you also have a favor? To save the fact when the Gigas are going to. Ah, oh, look at you. You're draining the bowl of death for resources. Oh, I'm going to save the satisfactory of seeing the Gigas eat one of you. Also, I hope you guys are aware that you should not be underneath me, a uh, little one. Yeah, okay, good, good, good. Argentinosauruses are not supposed to like having stuff underneath them, so um, that and it's really tempting to just step on them, but I don't want to be that guy. Huh. I wonder if the parents would be angry if I were to... Mm, eh. Wait, oh there's a one kid that... oh, are the gigas... oh, the gigas are going for it. There was a kid that broke off from the group. Oh, the Gigas are home! Oh. 
Oh yes, look at that. And the parents can do nothing. Ooh, I guess that's one less burden. I, I mean, kid. Does this make me the a-hole? Ah, yeah, he is definitely dead. I mean, what did the parents think about the bringing the kids here to impact crater? I mean, that was a bad idea no matter how you look at it. After reprimanding the first-time parents in an area which I too am clearly lacking majorly in, Argot made his way back to the Grand Plains. Dang it, you guys are here too? Well, I suppose you guys are faster than me. Ah, there they go. Tapping this place for resources as well. Well, at least they are Kai. Well, I suppose they're cute. Small little sack of beans. Potatoes. Hey, don't move, go there close to. Okay, good, good, good. Maybe I shouldn't be so sensitive about that underneath me rule. Hi Rex, there's a bag of potatoes right over there. Are you waving? Wait, are you? Oh no, 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 he means no harm. Dang it. I hoped. Unfortunately, in an area with enemies, it's only a matter of time until chaos ensues. Are they actually gonna fight? Oh. Well, we definitely know how the outcome is gonna be on this one, but you know what? This is interesting to watch. If a hunt fails, carnivores will usually retreat. Battling to the death is only foolish. It's better to live to hunt another day. That was anticlimactic. Kinda hope that they would... Uh... Oh, hi Gigas. Yeah, I kinda hope they would uh, finish the Rex off, but whatever. Oh god. Despite having been an adult for such a long time, you can now enjoy the perks of being an adult Argentinosaurus. Adult Argentinosauruses are one of the few dinosaurs that can cross rivers without too much to worry about. Small creatures would find it dreadful, dread at just the thought of crossing the river. Giant crocodile such as Dinosuchus, Sarcosuchus, or semi-aquatic dinosaurs like Spinosaurus and Sucumimus are the reason for death along the rivers. Well, technically there are many others, but we're not gonna list them. Again, the fog makes traveling through plains rather cumbersome. It doesn't make it better that the two Giganotosauruses from earlier are still around. Even if Agats lets out a warning call, it is not guaranteed that the Giganotosauruses will heed it. However, once again, there is something far more appetizing for the Giganotosauruses. Under the fog, the steps of a young sauropod, a young Amplosaurus, 
was trying to make his way back to his family. However, out of the fog, death greets with a smile. Ah, look at that nerd. You gonna die? You know, kind of your own fault for, you know, knowing that there are Giganotosaurus in the area and then leave your uh, safety. Kind of on you, pal. And another one bites the dust, am I right, Dillo? Yeah, I'm right. It would seem that once you are so big that no predator wants to naturally come and get you, there's only one thing left to do. I have been making these videos and every dinosaur has died at the end of it, and this one is no exception. If carnivores won't kill you, then... So, do you think it did a flip?